Welcome back, everyone. North Dakota-based best-selling author and animal rights activist C.J. English is hitting the road once again to tell people why rescuing matters. And she is joining us now in studio as we are talking about this new book that you have out, and uh, it's called Rescue Matters. Uh, what's this about? Yeah, so that came out in December, and um, you know, I like to say I was sort of trying to write slutty romance novels when this sort of just <laughs> pulled at my heart and happened. But but how can it not when you know a problem exists, right? So I have, you know, people say I love animals. I'm I'm more of a crazy I love animals type of person. Like haven't eaten animals in 17 <laughs> years. I've raised all my kids that way. Sort of raised my husband that way. I guess you could say as well. But you know, when I knew that there was a problem with um, stray homeless animals across the United States and right here at home, I sort of couldn't not do something about it. And as an author, writing seemed like the right thing to do and, and then giving a hefty portion of the profits back so that, you know, rescues all around can um, continue to rescue animals. And you write it, but you live it, right? Who do you have yeah. with you today? Yeah, so this is Bella. She's been with me for a little over a year. And we've got two dogs at home. So she's, of course, a rescue from right here in North Dakota. And then I've got one that is eight years old who's not a rescue. And I like to tell people that, like, eight years ago, I didn't know. I didn't know that millions of dogs died in shelters every year and that all I had to do was just wait and be patient and wait for the right one rather than to seek one out, buy one, kind of bring one into the world that, that can't support their brothers and sisters already. And I think some people are nervous about rescuing a dog. They don't really know its behavior or its attitude, but Bella is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, Bella's fantastic, right? Like I've always said to people, if you're willing to wait, you can literally pick the sex, the breed, the color, the temperament, the size, whatever you want. There's millions of them in shelters. If you're willing to drive a little bit, look around a little bit, you can pretty much get whatever you want. And, and they're, they're great dogs. You know, rescue dogs aren't damaged. You just have to find the right fit for your house. And so, who is this book for? And uh, even if you're not a crazy animal person, are you still going to enjoy it? Absolutely. And you know, the cover looks sad, right? But it's not, a, it's not a book about animal cruelty or neglect or abuse. It, it's much more inspirational. It's about a group of people that saw a problem and really decided to do something. And then I took that a little further, exploring kind of the problems around the United States and abroad as well. So, you know, I've got some a classroom in Canada, a teacher that's reading it to her students um, out near Minot. There's a, I was out at a librarian. She was reading it to her class, you know, select parts and what. Not. So good for anyone. Mm -hmm. I love that. And there's also a book tour going on right now with this. Is that right? Yeah. So I'm teaming up with quite a few shelters. I'll be in Detroit Lakes on Tuesday night, going to Bismarck, Woofstock, um, Minot, going all the way out to Alexandria within the next month or so to help promote those shelters, get those dogs adopted. And uh, where can people get the book or find the schedule? I mean, we have uh, the dates up on your screen right now, but what's a good place if they're like, oh, shoot, I want to catch you and want to look at the date later? Sure. So book is found everywhere books are sold, for sure, online. You can find it. And CJ English Author on Facebook. I've got all the dates on there. Okay, and you said maybe next time you'll bring even more puppies. We just had some puppies on last week, did. so yeah. puppies. Uh, it doesn't always work to bring puppies, but um, hopefully I'll be able to next time. Okay. Well, and it must be resonating too. Amazon bestseller in the animal rights category yeah, as well. So absolutely. people are loving it. People have been so great. Well, thank you so much, and we'll have you back on. Good luck with your book tour. I appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up on today's show, we'll get a familiar local coffee place getting a new home. Thunder Coffee is up with us next on North Dakota Today. Get to